Hello everybody and welcome to this new tutorial. In this video I want to show you how I created this looping transition with Blender. Let's get started. First delete everything except the default cube. Then add a subdivision service modifier, set it to 4 subdivisions and switch to simple. Then also add a displace modifier and create a texture. I use distorted noise but it doesn't really matter which texture you choose. Next add a remesh modifier to the stack and set it to blocks. Now we are already done with the modeling part. Turn on material preview and open the shader editor for the next step. Delete the principled BSDF and import the image you want to loop. Connect the image texture to a texture coordinate node and set the projection to box so that the image is mapped on every side of the cube. As you can see the image is now distorted. To solve that issue we have to add a mapping node and scale it along the x and y axis. Because I know that the image has a ratio of 4 to 6, I can just divide 4 by 6 to get the right scaling value. You can use the location parameters to place the image in the middle of the cube, but always use the same values for the x and y axis. I also added another mapping node just for scaling. Here's my final node setup. Now we can start animating. The first thing we have to do is to add a camera perpendicular to the cube. Switch the camera type to orthographic, set the orthographic scale and move the camera to fit the image. Keyframe the cube to rotate 90 degrees along the z-axis. I actually want my cube to rotate in the other direction, so I'll change the second keyframe to minus 90 degrees. You can switch to Eevee and use only one sample, since we only have an image texture in our scene. Choose your desired output settings and start to render it out.
I hope you liked this tutorial and learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe to me on Instagram where I post a new blended tip every single day. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.